What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today here we are out of Inlands and we are going to be playing Zelkam Says but with a little bit of a twist. The way you usually do it is you do an action if it follows exactly Zelk Says but the way we're going to be playing it today is you only do the action if Zelk Says isn't there. So basically if I say jump then they jump but if I say Zelk Says jump then they don't do it. So hopefully we fool some people with this one and yeah I think it's gonna be a lot of fun so like subscribe follow me Twitter let's jump to it. Okay bye let's go. Now, of course, we want to play by event and not the stupid little water drop that they're hosting right now. Let's see here. When does the event start? Oh, in five seconds? Well, let's wait till literally the second it starts and Ooh. end it. Get those nice reactions. Oops, did I do that? My bad. <laughs> oh, and they're hosting another water drop. What are you doing? And it's about to start in one second Ooh. and end it soon as it starts. I mean, come on. You had to know I was going to do it, guys. Also, I guess I should mention i'm not even gonna really tell them that that's how we're playing it i'm basically just gonna say it's opposite day and then hope that they catch on eventually because you know if i just flat out told them that would ruin a lot of the fun what if we just go like full-on opposite so let's say i want them to jump so instead of saying zelk says jump let's we'll say don't jump which i mean there's no way i can eliminate the people that aren't jumping it's way too lame let's see i want them on the glass so we're going to say don't stand on the glass and then replace diamond zero and send a bunch of people into the void who didn't understand that it's opposite day and we'll say don't stand on the diamond to get a back on the diamond and all oh, looks like they all lived okay it looks like all of these people understand but what happens if we say zelk says gets on the glass replace glass to zero and goodbye to like 10 more people got it down to finally just like the smartest of the bunch you actually know what we're doing what if we try to get like super tricky with like double negatives here let me think of something super complicated to say okay so if i said do not go to the emerald that means they actually have to go so if i say do not not go to the emerald that means they stay and we'll go ahead and replace glass air and there we go the vast majority of them are gone these are the only people that realized that i did a double negative this is so fun we get to eliminate so many people now we're gonna say stand still so of course i want them to move oh i said jump Jump if this guy started jumping. Send him to spawn. Nope, I said jump. It's opposite, which means you don't jump. There we go. We're gonna go triple negative on these people. Do not, not, not go to the emerald. Which, you know, of course that means that you do go to the emerald. And we'll just go ahead and replace some of the glass to zero right about now. And just to kill that last person who was too slow. I didn't say there was a time limit, but you know, I gotta eliminate somebody somehow. Now we're gonna try and fool him, and we're gonna say Zelk says don't go to the diamond. If I just plain said don't don't go to the diamond they'd go but since i put zelk says that's not how we're playing right now okay so i'm gonna see how they're gonna react and replace glass to zero and we killed four people <laughs> this guy's the only one that realized mick divorce so you got like mcdonald's divorcing in there it's opposite jay so he does not win he is the only dumb person here all right so we're not gonna do that again which of course means we're actually doing it again opposite day is there an event being hosted right now? Oh, yeah, there was. We'll just force end that one. And we have chat muted, so there's nobody to complain, okay? Nobody cares about your stupid event that you're playing. The only thing we should care about is my event. Because I'm the only important thing here, okay? Nothing else. Now, of course, we want the smartest. So we're gonna see if there is still dumb people here. So we're gonna say, Zelk says, get on the glass. This is how I said Zelk says, you just completely ignore this entire sentence. And you stay on the diamond. So we'll go ahead and replace glass to zero because of course you should be on the diamond and we oh hello how is this a thing he's like glitch on the other side of the barrier no ah! goodbye <laughs> not sure how we did that okay now i said get off the diamond which means get on the diamond so goodbye to you get in the void you didn't listen now we're gonna try to debate some more people so we're gonna say zulk says get off the diamond replace glass to zero and there goes a whole bunch of people now hang on what if i now say zulk says get on the emerald Place glass to zero, and there goes three more. All right, I like this. All right, let's play a little bit of less mind games right now, and let's just have some fun with these people. All right, now we have incredibly hard parkour, so we're not even gonna put a time limit on it. I'm just gonna say, like, the first 20 or so people here are gonna live, and I'm gonna have to time lapse it, because it's probably gonna take, like, five minutes for this. Okay, hang on, I should probably make two of these. All right, so there you go. Now there's four of them, so, and only one person's made it so far. This is gonna take a really long time. It's been 
like five minutes and these people are no closer. We've only got two people have made it. Okay, I'm gonna delete the second hard jump that exists there, all right? So now there's only one difficult jump preceded by everything else and so now we can get more people sooner. All right, and yeah, already we can see. And I just realized I never gave Mick Divorce anything, so I just gave him some keys now. So there you go, he got a reward. And if this person makes it, then I'm just done. Just make it so I can end this, please, Coco. And yep, there they go. And replace everything to zero and send them all to the void. Looks like I forgot ladder. And there you go. Goodbye. Do not get on the diamond. So, of course, get on the diamond, you idiots. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. All right, so since now that one was super challenging, now I feel like we should go back to the mind games. If we were to say do not get on the diamond, that would mean do get off the diamond. So we're gonna say do not not get on, so they should stay on the diamond. Replace glass zero to anybody going, and we eliminated four people. All right, I think I did that one right, hopefully at least. Mind games, yay! Possibly fooling the person that's giving them the mind games. So we're gonna say punch the air. Is anybody gonna do it? Uh, both. Oh no, all three of them did it. All three of you did it, so you all stay, but the final reward is gonna be less since how all of you technically lost. Jump now, nobody. <laughs> Do not face the floor. And there you go, they all face the floor. Do not spin, which means I would want them to spin, so do not not spin, which means you don't spin. And none of them spin. Oh my gosh, okay. These guys are doing smart things. Zulk says do not spin, which Zulk says at the start, so negates everything. Kuz and Cry Boy Halo are spinning. Spawn Kuze and Crying Boy Halo. And it ultimately doesn't matter what I said. Because I said Zelk says. So you just totally negate everything that goes after that. So we'll just say Little Pup is not the winner. No GG to him. And we'll force everybody to say not GG to you. Okay, we're being technically polite. It's opposite to Okay, so he got extra keys for completing the hard parkour. But he gets less keys for technically losing. So it just goes back to the normal of three. So there you go. Have fun. All right, so um, what else can we spread with uh, opposite day? We're a fan of communism here. So what is the, I'm gonna Google that. What is the opposite of communism? All right, so the opposite of communism is capitalism. And the best example of capitalism is the United States. So instead of like the USSR flag, now we're getting the United States flag. So it's opposite day. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so there you go. <laughs> now you've been close to being what it's supposed to. Hang on, these to be more flag like take out the bottom row. It's a little bit better. Why did I do that? What am I thinking? Hey, there you go. Now it's more even. I have absolutely no idea how many white flags are here. There is 27. So not enough stars, not enough stripes, but hey, it's close enough. You look at it, you probably know what it is. So there you go. Uh, we also like haikus. So what's the opposite of a haiku? According to Word Hippo, the opposite of a haiku could just be a rhyme. Not rhyme city, just, you know, a rhyme. So we want somebody to write me like a poem that rhymes, but it isn't a haiku. And what the? Crocodile, frog, toad, reptile, snake, lizard. Okie dokie. Not sure why that's there. So we're just telling him to write me a short poem that rhymes, is not a haiku, and is about a frog named Fred. You know what? Since now he is writing one, I might as well too, you know? It's only fair. Okay, we should do this. Okay, he already finished his, so we'll wait for mine here. His is, there once was a frog named Fred. He liked to sleep in bed. Once he woke up from a dream where everyone was being mean. He really wanted a family so he could live the rest of his life happily. Does family and happily rhyme? I don't think they do. Well, according to wrapped.co, it, it does rhyme, so I guess we'll let it slide. So, there you go. Okay, now, mine. There once was a frog named Fred. He lived in a shed. His owners were quite dreadful. They often squished him with a pencil. He sought to escape their fury. He knew he must do so in a hurry. One night, he packed his bags, and his family killed him due to them being old hags. So, uh, not exactly the best end in the world, but hey, I like it. So there we go. That was mine. I'm gonna sign this one. Poem, frog, Fred. So there you go. Auction now sell for 100,000. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing, follow my Twitter. And uh, yeah, this was totally not a fun video. I didn't enjoy it, okay? Because it's opposite day. So, yeah, that's it for me. Um, so yeah, I'm done, okay? I'm just gonna say bye really loudly, okay? Are you ready? And bye! <laughs>